Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Hair just keeps on growing, doesn't it? <sighs> we can't get out, we can't do anything we want, and our lives seem to be so taken over. But however, it's so, so important that we stick to this and it's so important that we stay at home. Yes, it can be boring. Yes, you might think to yourself that you're getting to your wit's end. But then when those times, and we all have them, just take a moment and think about all the dreadful things what's happening around us. Take a moment and everything soon comes into perspective. And if it hasn't already, it will do in the next couple of seconds. You've only got to switch on the TV and see how many people have lost their lives. And actually, it really just all home in to think that actually we can be a little bit more patient. And we can just calm down, relax and do something we enjoy. And just make sure that our friends and family are safe and well looked after and are healthy. And soon we'll all be looking back on this and thinking that we all done the right thing and we all got through this in a really dignified, responsible and healthy way. But with that aside... Doesn't it just make you feel pretty awful when you walk past the mirror and you think, I still can't get my hair cut, I still can't look like how I want to, or if you're rocking a really cool trendy hairstyle which you've not long had cut, and you think to yourself it's really growing out now. There's a whole host of things you can actually do. So you may think to yourself, looking at my hair actually here, that my hair's growing out, but this is actually through choice. Now if you've been on my channel before and you've seen a lot of my hairstyles, you will think that, is that even possible that I've got longer hair? It is, because when you've got longer hair, versatility comes along with it as well. Very often, if I want a professional look or something, sort of a classic look or a smart sort of attire look, then I will always go in for a 1920s inspired, 1910s inspired slick back look or a side slick back look with products such as Brill Cream or Parmades or high strength gels with, of course, that really nice shine with a blasting free spray over the top. You've got it from Schwarzcraft. But of course, with longer length hair as well, is a choice for me. For example, I wear hearing aids and have hearing problems. So if I get a day where I'm not necessarily that confident and I want to cover things up a little bit or I don't want to have that sort of on show so much because I wear a wire at the back of my neck, then I will have the look like what I've got today, sort of off to one side, a little bit of sort of volume and that sort of nice bit of style and sleekness off to the side. And I will do that with the help of a straightener and a comb. But you would be surprised. Letting that hair grow a little bit might well actually be a real positive for you to be able to embrace change. And you never know, after this is all over, you may actually like your longer length hair and you may just jump in with a completely different hairstyle. Of course, you can actually still have versatility with sort of mid-length hair or even hair just sort of touching the eyebrow line or even longer. You may be used to having really super short hair and it's grown out a little bit. That is actually a really nice stage because if it's grown out slightly, you've got that sort of loose textured sort of rather than if hair's so short, it can only go in one direction. If it grows out a little bit, then you've got a little bit more versatility about it. If you've got hair sort of my length and it's growing, you can do so many different things. And you know what I was thinking this morning about if, and it's really quite strange at the moment because of course everything is restricted and that is of course to stay healthy and to protect everyone around us as well as our families and our loved ones at home and of course friends and all of those people we treasure and cherish. But isn't it quite strange when you walk around and literally everything has changed, people wearing face masks, people wearing gloves, every aspect of life has changed at the moment. And actually, very often, just thinking of a simple thing such as hair, it doesn't really warrant that, does it? But isn't it strange that how much of it, it does play on our mind if we're not looking a certain way or if we're not feeling certain sort of smartness or, or very often our hairstyle gives us confidence? More so gives us actually or tells us that we should embrace change. Why feel uncomfortable in something which you're doing to protect yourself and others? Something simple as just a changing hairstyle can give so much more confidence and can actually make you feel so much more better when you are indoors and you are inside. And of course, you have to, we have to abide by all of these uh, measures which we are given to stay safe. Why not walk past the mirror in the hallway or in a room and think to yourself, I really like that. I'm looking quite cool, quite trendy. It really does give you that boost of confidence. So first things first, I'm just going to run, run through some things which if you're thinking, what can I do with my hair type thing? Here's a few things which come to mind. So, for example, if you've got hair sort of finer length, it's getting to the stage where it's a little bit sort of unruly, a little bit untidy. One of my first things would be to try grab yourself some pomade and that is Brill Cream. So it is a light glossy hold, it's original hold, and it is an amazing product for hair health and scalp health as well, and for amazing shine. The first thing you want to do is literally grab a good golf ball size amount of this when you're styling your hair and you're thinking, 
what can I do with my hair? I'm really, really absolutely going spare crazy about it looking so untidy. Literally, grab yourself some pomade. Next time you go out to get your essentials, go down to that hair aisle and grab yourself some pomade. You will not mistake it. Literally, grab a golf ball size amount, rub it through your palms when you're styling your hair, grab a comb, comb it all back, and literally, you will like that comb back look. If you don't like the whole comb back look, literally, take a parting off on one side and comb it off really, really nice and sleek. And I absolutely urge you, use a comb. Don't use your hand or your hands because I find that with Brill Cream, if you're not using a comb, you're not sort of getting the full effect of it. It's a really classic, really smart, really professional look product. Of course, you can make it casual and you can make it casual by in, in sort of changing the parting up or the direction of how you're combing your hair. It's a really nice product and it really helps give the hair so much more shine, so much more health. And when you wash it out, you've got that amazing condition left from the Brill Cream. That's just one thing. If you're at your wit's end with your hair, grab Brill Cream next time you are out. It's like a pomade cream, uh, cream like product. It's amazing for your hair. And it's amazing for the condition and it's great. If you're thinking uh, to yourself, my hair's everywhere all the time, grab some pomade. You will absolutely love it. And it's a look that most people can absolutely smash and it looks incredible. And you have to admit, when you've got time on your hands, use it. Try some different hairstyles. You never know what you might come across and you might absolutely love it. Moving on. You may think that actually if your hair growing out, if you've got to my, my kind of length and you're thinking it's just sitting so flat, a product which is really, really good, and for most men, they probably wouldn't think about using it, is a mousse. Now, this one here is by Rockaholic, okay, and it's amped up and it's volumizing mousse. Literally, once you've shampooed, conditioned your hair, one of the best things to get lift in your hair, texture, movement, sort of natural sort of flare in your hair pardon the pun there, is taking a few golf ball size amounts of mousse through your hair, uh, spraying it into your hand, rub it together and literally through your hair. Leave it to dry naturally if you want. You get that nice texture throughout your hair or grab a blow dryer and a round brush, okay, and literally lift it up towards the ceiling and really get some height in there. And once you're finished, you might even like what the texture leaves you with. The product gives you texture. It gives you a little bit more stability, gives you a little bit more fullness. If you've got finer hair as well, this is great for that. Then literally, Hold your head upside down or flip over into the front and literally give it a spray with hairspray. My favourite is the Schwarzkraft glued got to be blasting free spray. Flip your head back up and you will see you've got crazy volume standing up to the ceiling high. And literally grab your fingers, pull it off to one side and you will see you've got a really nice, amazing, volumized, modern, trendy look. Something you wouldn't think outside of the barbers you'd be able to create, especially in lockdown. Let's move on slightly. So thinking about texture, perhaps you don't want to use combs, perhaps you don't want to use brushes and things like that at all. Perhaps you just want to try something different, but it looks modern, cool, trendy, and like you haven't just just made no effort at all. OK, and let's be honest, we all have days when we think to ourselves, I could really do without using so much product in my hair. Perhaps you've got a bit of a headache. Perhaps you've got a little bit of stress going on. It's the last thing you want to be doing, spraying so many products in your hair. A great product to use is a sea salt spray. So when you have got towel dried hair okay so you've shampooed you've conditioned your hair you've got towel dried hair literally hold your hair up and spritz a salt spray all throughout your hair and you will be surprised as it dries go back spray a little bit more you can build on a salt spray hair scrunch your hair sort of go a bit crazy sort of shaking it all around and you actually get a really textured really to loose sort of undone look kind of like a beach look where you've been to the beach you've been in the water you've come out and your hair's kind of dried but you kind of like that look literally Pull it off to one side. You would be surprised. It creates a really nice look. Give it a try. This one here is by Fudge Urban, and most supermarkets sell this one, I have to admit. It's a really great product. Give it a try. I'm not going through and reviewing these products because I've reviewed them all on my channel. So if you are interested in them, give them a go. This is purely just if you're struggling with your hairstyles, you can't get out and have that haircut. It's all about embracing change, starting something new, trying something different with your hair. So when you walk past a mirror in your house, you can actually be rocking a cool look rather than thinking, God, when are the barbers going to be open again? OK, let's move on. Something else which I'm just going to cover is if, for example, hair is growing out, it can tend to be a little bit more flatter on top, especially if you've got finer textured hair. Really, if you've got thicker hair, sometimes it can sit quite sort of awkward, a little bit sort of wishing that you would have different hair. Let's put it that way. And a great product to use is actually a root lifting spray. So you can lift the hair away from the scalp and create the best looks possible. For example, if you're thinking to yourself, your hair's got a little bit longer. If you try a root lifting spray, such as, wait for it, the Matrix Total Results, which is on my channel as well. It's one of my favorites, I have to admit. Give a few spritz of that through your hair after you've shampooed and conditioned. You can use a 
small radial brush, which will give you that great texture, that great volume and lift. Literally, hold your head up uh, over the front of you, spray some hairspray, flip it back over, or if you don't want to do that, literally, use your fingers, use probably like a wax uh, or a lifting sort of clay, rub your hands through, and what will be working with you is that root lift from the root lifting spray, so you get more volume, more lift, more texture. So what we're trying to achieve here is that when you look in the mirror, you don't see that your hair's grown out and it's got flat and it's just flopping on your head. With a root lifting spray, it lifts the hair up and it gives you much more natural sort of texture, much more natural volume in your hair. So it looks much more fresher, much more invigorated, much more like you in the style what you want to be seen in. Not like an un... Like you haven't bothered, basically. Nobody wants to look in the mirror and, and look at the style which they've spent trying to do for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and it just looks like you haven't bothered. Absolutely horrible. And of course, if your style is outgrown or if you are getting to the stage where you really desperately need your haircut, trying new products will really inject new life, new style, and that sort of invigoration into the hair, which you also need, we all need at the moment, if we cannot get to the barbers. Now, of course, if you're like me and you do want to attempt cutting your hair, I would always say small, start small, leave the top. If you've got somebody to help you with the sides, give it a try. But if you have not got confidence, do not try it and literally wait this out. One of the best things you can do is taking like a personal trimmer or a razor and doing the edges of your hair and just literally by the sideburns. That makes such a difference and leave your hair. Do not let yourself have a hair tragedy and literally be left for the rest of the lockdown wishing that you didn't do that and never just grab a normal pair of scissors like office scissors or kitchen shears and just start hacking away at your hair it's never going to end well at all you only have to look on youtube to see how many people have done that and it's absolutely crazy so all of what i wanted to do today is if you are in a situation where hair just keeps on growing and it's getting to the point where you're thinking every day you're looking you think it's just looking so untidy embrace it you would be surprised what you come across using products like certainly like for example and I, and, I, and I hate to keep coming back to a sort of a stereotypical comb style but products like brill cream an amazing hero product for when you think you haven't got a style which you can't sport this is amazing and getting hair gripping every hair into a certain style and giving you that injection of shine, that injection of style, and it just looks amazing. And of course, a whole host of all different products which we've used today as well. Another small tip is as well, if you find that your sides are growing out and you've got an edge like me on an undercut and you're thinking to yourself, ah, it's growing out, you've got this sort of puffiness here. One of my tips is taking a free spray like the Schwarzcroft and when you're styling your hair, spraying that sort of bit here, this sort of puffy bit, which tends to grow out quicker, literally spraying it through and then very very quickly using your hand and pushing against your style here you will see that that sort of holds back in and you don't get that sort of overhang which you often get if you're waiting for a haircut and lastly of course the one last thing is as well if you've got longer length hair and you get to about sort of end of your nose or sort of top lip area and you think to yourself you'd like to try something a little bit more natural you don't want to use any products or anything like that at all one of my tips is let your hair dry naturally, but comb your hair off to a side, quite a deep side parting, like what I've done here. After you've done that, if you've got, or somebody in your home's got a pair of straighteners, literally, and I know it sounds quite strange, and not a lot of men would want to do that, but straighten your hair off, literally, comb it through all straight, and then literally go outside. And it's strange because what the wind kind of does, or just natural weather and moisture in the air, it kind of sits your hair a little bit more heavier. So then when you come back in from a walk or something like that, I know it sounds strange, but do it, honestly, absolutely try it. And then when you come back in, your hair's kind of taken up a whole new sort of natural style. Your hair's straight, it's quite sleek, then brush it. You get this real ultra softness in your hair and your hair kind of finds its natural sort of memory style. And it's actually quite cool. So I urge you, if you want something to try and you don't want to use too many products, give that a try. Just recapping, shampoo, conditioning, Leave your hair dry, comb it off to one, one side, leave it dry, go outside, do whatever you're doing, go for a short walk, come back in. You will see that after your hair takes this sort of sort of style, which is natural to it, it sort of falls into it. And I know it sounds strange, but give it a try. Or after you've shampooed and conditioned and left it dry naturally, straighten it off, then go out, then come back in. Both ways will give you this really sort of undone look, but actually really really nice and natural and it's a whole new style give it a try um yeah so anyway hope you've really enjoyed this clip just a few tips i know certain people 
all over the online are struggling with sort of not being able to get their hair cut and things. But of course, in the sense of that, yeah, it is it is a bit of a bothersome sort of thing. But in the grand scheme of things, it's really nothing, is it, at all? As long as you're healthy, you're well, these times will hopefully pass and we will hopefully all look back on this in a really dignified way and think that you we all done the right thing and we all stayed well and we helped one another. And... Yeah, what a pretty amazing thing to look back on such an awful, awful time. OK, thank you very much for watching my clip and hopefully you can take some things away from my clip today and you may even want to try. Um, and honestly, the, the, the last one which I covered about literally just leaving your hair, sometimes less is more. But of course, if you do less with your hair, sometimes incorporating a few products in your hair can really give you that injection of oomph and really nice style in your hair. And just basically changing up, embrace change. OK, thanks very much indeed for watching my clip. I really enjoyed this one. I hope you have too. So until next time, stay safe, look after one another and I will see you real soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.